What's up guys, this is Altaric here. The Apple TV 4K is a tiny little device that retails for about $129 here in the US and you can hook it up directly to your TV using an HDMI cable. Once you turn it on and get it all set up, you can browse the Apple TV app for different fitness specific apps. You can download and run these apps directly on Apple TV. So no screen mirroring is required or using any other device. All you need is the Apple TV remote or Apple TV remote app on your phone. And I have talked a lot about running Zwift cycling app on the Apple TV on this channel, but there are other cycling apps that you can run on Apple TV. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the best cycling apps available for Apple TV and my personal experience using each one. And if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you take a second to hit that like button it helps the video and the channel quite a bit and I really appreciate it. Okay, let's start off with Apple's own Apple Fitness app. Apple Fitness will give you access to thousands of video contents, everything from HIIT to yoga and guided meditations. They also offer running and cycling as well. With the Fitness app, you'll get the best Apple TV experience. It is easy to navigate and integrate so well with the Apple Watch. Their cycling classes resemble the Peloton or any studio type spinning class. If you scroll to cycling, you will see all the new classes on top. You can filter classes using time, music, or instructor. It doesn't really matter which bike you use with their classes. Any bike would do. You can be on a Fisher Price bike and it won't even know it. You can, by the way, you can buy that Fisher Price Think and Learn for $540. $540. Uh, no, thank you. Their cycling classes range from five minutes to 45 minutes. The class details page will show a little description of what to expect from the class duration and music played in that class. Apple Fitness requires you to have an iPhone or Apple Watch. However, you will find that with an Apple Watch, you will get a much better experience as it will track your movement, workout length, calories burned, heart rate, and more. You can start and end workouts directly from your Apple Watch. All your workout stats are displayed on the watch, but this information is also shown right on the Apple TV screen in real time so you can view all your metrics without having to look down on your watch. If you are not wearing a watch, you can still do the workouts but no metrics will be collected. You can track your progress on screen for each of your rings. Some workouts also display the burn bar which shows how your metrics compare to others who have done the same workout before. The more calories you burn, the higher you land on that burn bar. And the nice thing, Apple Fitness supports picture in picture. How about that? So you can view the workout video and if you want to watch a movie on Netflix or watch more of my videos on YouTube, you can definitely do that. When you finish a workout, you will see your rank in the pack and if you are like me, you'll be all the way in the back of the pack. You will uh, see some other stats as well, such as average heart rate, calories burn, your ring status and some other stats as well. Apple Fitness costs $9.99 per month or $79.99 per year. Okay, that is enough with the Apple Fitness and let's move on to the Peloton Apple TV app. The Peloton app is an alternative for people who do not have the Peloton bike, tread or Peloton row and want to still use a Peloton. You get access to it as part of their digital subscription, which is $12.99 per month. You can also access it if you have a Peloton subscription through a bike, tread or a row and want to use one of their workouts on a big screen TV. With the Apple TV app, you will get access to all their classes live and on demand from yoga, strength, stretching, cycling, running, HIIT training, virtual scenic rides, and many more. Their cycling classes are divided into different categories. You can browse through their categories or use a filter to filter on classes by class length, a specific instructor, class type, or music genre. You can also view and join different programs like Mastering the Basics. You can also join live classes. Unlike their bike where you see a lot of different metrics and the leaderboard, you will find the cycling menu on the Apple TV to be limited to basically only a video. You won't see power metrics and no workout guidance like power zone, cadence, target or resistance. You can pair a Bluetooth heart rate monitor like the Polar Verity Sense that I generally use or if you have an Apple Watch, 
you can simply use your Apple Watch to, for heart rate broadcasting and you should see your heart rate displayed and strive score as well. But you cannot pair an external power meter or cadence sensor. Overall, I found the Peloton app on the Apple TV to be well executed, easy to use, and a great way to explore different classes for users with an all-access Peloton subscription or for users who want to explore the Peloton without fully investing in a bike or a treadmill. Rowing content is not currently available with a digital subscription and only available on the Peloton Row. Just thought I mentioned that before anyone asks. Okay, moving on to the next cycling app on Apple TV and that is Ruby. Ruby offers a huge library of cycling video routes from around the world. Many of them are in augmented reality, bringing in real world video content combined with computer generated avatar. Ruby offers group events and virtual racing. They have a big library of structured cycling workouts and offer running as well. I found the Apple TV app to have most of the features they have on their other apps and that's starting from the route selection menu, selecting workouts, group rides, signing up for an event or just watching an event all the way to their most recent 360 camera view that they released last month. I found navigating through the app using the Apple TV remote to be pretty decent. You'll find yourself swiping and clicking a lot on the remote to go to where you want to go, but it seems to work just fine. Ruby is constantly hosting events, races, and grand tours on their platform to keep things fun and interesting. Also, you can use Ruby to run if you have a treadmill. All you need is a Bluetooth foot pod, or my favorite, which is this run device, which sits by the treadmill belt and sends the speed to Ruby. Very simple to set up and use, and it just works. To get the best interactive cycling experience with Ruby, you need to have a Bluetooth compatible smart bike trainer or a smart bike. However, you can use it with only a bike with a power meter or a speed sensor. If you want to try Ruby out, it is $15 per month or $12 per month if you sign up for a full year. They also have 14 days free trial where you can try all these features out without committing to anything. Ruby also offers family sharing so you can share your membership with two different family members at no additional cost. So that is an extra saving for you. Moving on to full gas. If you like to ride real courses, you have to check out full gas. They bring the outdoor rise indoors and in stunning video quality. The video quality of their rise is just outstanding. So sharp and crisp. Full Gas has a very clean interface and easy to navigate in Apple TV. You can easily find rides by either doing a search if you are looking for a particular course or pick a ride from their various categories and recommendations. Full Gas on Apple TV is compatible with almost any smart trainer out there that supports Bluetooth. They also offer support for different trainer functionalities and accessories such as the Kicker Climb and Tax Neo Road Feel Simulation. Usually your on-screen speed is based on power output. So at minimum, you'll need a power meter to get some interactivity with full gas or a smart trainer to get full interactivity and that full experience with full gas and feel the changes in terrain or use erg mode. But if you do not have a smart trainer or a power meter, there is a way to get around this. You can ride the videos in what's called steady mode. With steady mode, the video will just play and move you down the road at the same speed of the person who filmed it. You can also add structured training to a course. They also have a decent amount of workouts that you can select from. You can also upload your own workouts or auto sync your daily workouts from Training Peaks, for example. Full Gas allows you to choose between three different video quality settings from 720p up to 4K. You can stream or download courses. You can even stream off of your NAS server. If you plan on downloading rides, you might want to look into upgrading to Apple TV to the 128 gigabyte option instead of the uh, 64 gigabytes because you're going to need every gigabyte for some of these rides. Subscription to Full Gas costs uh, $13 per month or you can go with the annual membership for uh, $109. Uh, for a full year with the ability to have an extra family member at no additional cost. They also offer a 14-day free trial. Next is Wahoo RGT. Wahoo RGT is a virtual cycling platform with virtual routes that are based on real-world locations. Wahoo RGT gives you a lot of flexibility to select which route to ride on at any given day. You can also create your own routes. You can set up group rides, 
events and races and invite others to join you. You will find the Wahoo RGT Apple TV app to be polished and clean. You will also find many of the features available on their PC or tablet version to be available on their Apple TV as well. So nothing really is missing that I could find. Uh, the one thing you will find annoying with the RGT app on Apple TV is every time you press the menu button on the Apple TV remote, it will kick you out of the app. Generally, the menu button on the Apple TV remote is used as a back button. So let's say you go from the right screen to the sensor menu screen. The behavior I expect when pressing the menu button on the remote control is to take me out of the sensor menu and back to the right screen but instead it will kick me out of the RGT app completely and take me all the way back to the Apple TV main menu. Not exactly where I want to go, right? But the good thing is you do not lose your ride and you can just open the RGT app again and you will be right back where you left off. The voice chat feature Wahoo RGT released is also available. However, it is available through their companion app. So instead of pairing your headset to the Apple TV, you'll just need to pair it to your phone or just use your phone speaker as you do when making phone calls. To use RGT, you will need to have a smart trainer or a smart bike or at a minimum, a classic trainer with Bluetooth power meter. Wahoo RGT is part of Wahoo X, so a subscription there will cost you $14.99 per month or $149 per year, and you will also get full access to Wahoo System. Wahoo System is available on Windows, Mac, the iPad and iPhone, and Android devices as well, but not the Apple TV. Otherwise, I would have mentioned it. And this brings us to Zwift. Zwift is social and offers many options to keep you challenged and entertained. At any one time during the indoor riding season, you can be on course with thousands of other riders. Zwift offers a number of virtual worlds. Some are imaginary routes such as Watopia, their biggest and most popular world, and other worlds designed after real places such as London, Richmond, New York, Paris, and others. Zwift offers many ways to enjoy riding indoors and challenge yourself from free riding to group riding and racing. They also offer a big library of structured uh, workouts and training plans and offer the ability to import workouts from third-party application like Training Peaks. They also offer running, group runs, run races, and running workouts as well. Zwift on Apple TV is one easy and cost-effective way to run Zwift. You will find most of the features and functionalities found on their desktop and mobile apps on Apple TV. The video resolution is okay, not as good as what you will get on a high-end MacBook Pro or a high-end uh, gaming PC, but for what you pay for Apple TV, the picture is pretty good. You do need a smart trainer, a power meter, or at minimum, a Bluetooth speed sensor with a classic trainer to use Zwift. Zwift costs $15 per month. They also offer 14-day free trial. All right, let me know if you have any questions. And if you use any of these apps on Apple TV, I would love to hear about your experience. Did you like it? How was your experience navigating their menus with the Apple TV remote? Let's get the conversation going in the comment section. Okay, hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit that like button. And if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.